We're going into the upper 90s to around 100, pretty much identical to what we had yesterday, and the heat index probably going to top out in the range of 107 to 112 across our area. Now, if you're thinking it's been a really hot summer, have summers been getting hotter, generally that trend is the case, not just the heat, but the humidity. So when we look at the heat index stats, which go back to 1979, we can look at the days, the number of days each year where we had a heat index of 105 or above, and you can see there's this general trend since 1979. Houston is averaging uh, per year, six more days with a heat index of 105 or hotter. And if you're wondering where we stand so far in 2023, we've had 22 days with a heat index of 105 or above. And we're easily going to tack on another 10 above that, but probably even more. So that's following that upper in trend that we've been seeing for decades. And of course, not just heat, but also humid heat affects your health quite a bit. Your heart pumps faster, your sweat cools you off less, kidneys work harder. So follow the common sense advice with heat uh, like we had, drink a lot of water, Limit your time outdoors, seek shade, find ways to stay cool, all that common sense stuff that I'm sure you've been doing for several weeks now. We've got heat advisories in effect here today and much of Texas as well as Oklahoma and all the way east into parts of Mississippi, Alabama, even the southern portion of Florida and then out west. It is a substantial heat wave that could break all time records for heat in some places and this is going to hold for several days. You see excessive heat warnings across several areas there in the southwest and the west and it's all about this area of high pressure right under it is where the hottest temperature temperatures are, but it's basically just sprawled out across much of the south. That's why we're feeling that heat right now, and this high is going to just move a little west, then it comes back east towards us, and generally our temperatures and our heat won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Now, again, we're looking at highs near 100. Here's the average heat index for our area each day, and notice how these numbers they don't come down a lot, but at least they're down a little, despite the fact that actual temperatures come up a little early next week. That's because we expect slightly drier air. Again, it's not going to be a big impact, but slightly drier air should be coming in during the early part of next week.